I have been contemplating over for such a long time. It's about my health, it's about how I look, about what I want in my life, and how I'm gonna get there, and some realizations. So one thing that I have noticed is that I've been thinking about my future a lot more than usual. Things like the kind of potential partner that I want in my life, what I do want and what I don't want in a partner, what I want in my physical self, what I want in my mental and emotional state, what I want in my financial future, and you know, it's, it's a lot of things. First things first. The most important thing, I'm gonna talk about what kind of partner I want. No, I'm just kidding. That's not the most important thing. So for me, the most important thing is what I want for myself, what I want in my own health, in my own like physical health. I want to be at optimal strength and optimal, not, not nutrition, nutrition is not the word that I'm looking for. I'm looking for nutritious and delicious, no I'm just kidding, nutritional health, I think that's the, the phrase I'm looking for. So I want to have as much nutrition in my body as possible at any given time. So one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stop eating any kind of junk food that includes pizzas, burgers, <sighs> pancakes, maybe not pancakes. I don't wanna get rid of pancakes. I don't think I wanna get rid of pancakes. But I have to. <sighs> I gotta work. I gotta work on this. Okay. So I'm giving up junk food. I am not going raw vegan, but I'm going to be a healthy vegan from now on. At least until my goal, uh, physical, um, my physical goal. That, yeah, that, <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. So what I'm thinking is that giving up junk food and working out regularly, I think I'm gonna start with one or two days a week because you know I don't want to go full on like seven days a week at the beginning because that's just ridiculous and unrealistic because my body is not ready for that and I'll probably have a lot of seizures because of like going too much too soon. Definitely gonna start off a couple of days a week working out and gonna be taking the dogs for longer walks and mm, not in the weather that is uh, currently Toronto because it's kind of um, what's the non curse word that I'm looking for it's kind of um, horrible <laughs> just, just to be family friendly there's essentially sleet and a possibility of outages and Floods, according to my mother so yeah so for now I'm not going for long walks with my dogs like I said I'm going to be eating healthy and I'm going to make sure that I don't overeat as well because if I overeat then I'm, I'm just it, it's a no good for my mental health I'm going to try and I guess you could call it meditating but I'm gonna try that on a regular basis. Like I said, I'm not gonna do things like too much too soon. So I'm thinking maybe once a week I'm gonna meditate and just see how that goes. Just to try and go through my thoughts so that I can organize my thoughts and you know, not go crazy uh, and have bursts of insanity. Um, <laughs> Cause nobody likes that. Not even me. Um, wow, what a surprise. I'm just going to talk through things. Even if I'm talking to myself, I'm gonna talk to myself through things so that I just can solve problems better, more efficiently, without hurting other people's feelings. Now, physically, obviously, I can't look like a supermodel. I want my body to be fit. I want it to be lean. I want it to be 
full of energy and well obviously being vegan is part of that that's kind of a given you know being lean not like not like skinny fat or I just want definition you know part of the change is also going to be changing the way I dress I'm not gonna dress in such a manner that you would see a person just hanging out and typically what you see in movies when there's women just after a breakout in their breakout <laughs> just after a breakup and they're just eating a tub of ice cream so I'm, I'm gonna try and change the way I dress because I do like to dress nice I do prefer comfort first so I'm going to try and dress nice but also find nice clothes that are comfortable so that I don't feel uncomfortable. <laughs> in terms of what I want in a partner, guy, girl, whatever, just any single legal adult uh, would be great for me. Though there are specifics that I particularly want. So, I mean, if I could idealistically say what type of person I want, it would be something like Zac Efron. It's not so much of a physical thing that I'm looking for, but yes, being fit is like definitely there. I want someone who's fit and I want someone who's vegan because vegetarian is just not gonna cut it. Vegan has to be like that that's the one thing that I can't get over it has it has to be a vegan person they have to be I said fit already uh, yeah because if I'm working out and if I'm like getting my body to an optimal level I want the person that I'm with to be on the same level of wanting their body fit and healthy just just like I do a person that I want to be with definitely has to have a considerable amount of energy. With me getting rid of the junk food, I'm going to have double the considerable amount of energy. So I'm just looking for someone who essentially can keep up with me, but also calm me down when I get a little bit overboard with the energy. So yeah, that works. Can't forget, they have to love dogs because I'm not getting rid of my dogs for anybody, okay? My dogs are my babies. So they have to love dogs just as much as I do. They have to consider that these are my children and I am not getting rid of my furry children. Okay, girl, yeah, I'm just, I'm being weird today. I think maybe having that protein fruit smoothie today was uh, kind of part of it. So. I mean, I'm on the right track. So humor. An important thing. They've got to be funny. They've got to have a good sense of humor. Like when I make stupid jokes, they don't necessarily have to think they're funny. But I mean, like they do have to, you know, understand that it's a joke and not take everything so seriously. I don't want someone who's overly serious, but I mean, you know, kind of serious. You know, they have to be serious about their life, but not like serious about everything in the sense that they can't have fun because you know humor like I said is an important thing they have to learn they have to know how to have fun they have to know how to enjoy the little things in life and you know just make jokes of you know little things like just enjoy it enjoy life life is beautiful my future partner also has to have goals they have to set goals they have to want to be achieving those goals that you know that's another thing for me um okay now we're past now we're past the people now we're past the partner person what i want for my life i want to constantly be setting goals achieving those goals and i want to be super productive and i want to be you know constantly working on improving myself and just you know loving myself because I mean, I'm awesome, so <laughs> I want other people to see that I'm awesome. They just
just gotta see that this awesomeness, it needs to be shared with the world. Because I love you. And if you get to know me, you're gonna love me too. So in terms of financially, obviously I wanna be successful and uh, I wanna be able to, you know, have my own house close to somewhat of a mansion, but more like, a bungalow mansion because I know my mom has a problem with stairs so it would be more like a bungalow but like a mansion at the same time a big bungalow essentially is what I'm talking about obviously with the financially successful part I do have a plan and like I said I my goal is to be more productive and you know work harder and part of that is, you know, use as many platforms as I can to my advantage and, you know, get my name out there so that people can, you know, can share this beautifulness and this awesomeness. Oh, yeah, no more. So my point is that I'm going to be more constant with my uploads. I'm also going to make sure to be more constant on all of my platforms and post regularly and make sure that I use them all to my advantage so that, you know, sharing my awesomeness with the world is more effective. And I just hope that I make people smile every day that I create something new. One thing I'm gonna make sure to remember is that I am not gonna worry about any negativity that comes into my life especially if it is highly unimportant i know for a fact that if i focus on all the positivity in my life and make sure to continue growing that positivity and turning it into a beautiful garden of roses then it's just going to continue to blossom and just be extra beautiful. Now this video specifically is not just for me to tell you what I want in my life, what I want in my future, goals and such. It's also to inspire you to make the decision to follow your dreams and make plans to grow your success and grow your happiness and, and just improve your way of living. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Of course, be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah.